in this session let we learn about how to design a demultiplexer circuit what does mean by demultiplexer computational circuit what is its functionality how to draw its logical diagram and how to obtain their functionality that and how to design a higher order demultiplexer using low order multi demultiplexers now so this demultiplexer is also one of the example of combinational circuit which are used in data transmission so it completely gives the reverse operation of your multiplexer so it will have total number of inputs are only one single input and it will distribute that single input through your multiple outputs so now so it will have maximum number of inputs are 2 power n number of inputs so now if it is having 2 power n number of inputs so with a single input and in order to distribute that single input through 2 power n number of outputs we require some control signals and those control signals are defined as a selection inputs so for a 2 power n number of output line we require n number of selection lines so each combination of your selection line can distribute your single input terminal to a particular output terminal to one of the output terminal on a single time so this is also called as a dmux in a short form or the single data is distributed through your multiple output terminal so hence this demultiplexer is called as a, as a data distributor now let me move with your low order demultiplexer which is 1 by 4 1 1 is to 4 demultiplexer 1 by 4 demultiplexer means so the first digit indicates your inputs and the second digit indicates your number of outputs available on your demultiplexer as it is a demultiplexer so it can convert the serial data into your parallel form so hence only one single input terminal is available on your input of your demultiplexer with multiple outputs so this 4 which is the second digit indicates the number of outputs available on this demultiplexer circuit now based on your selection inputs of s1 and s0 as it is 4 i can write this number of outputs with 2 power is 2 square so now that power can be denoted or it is it is the value or your number of inputs required on your selection lines so these selection lines as it is 4 2 square so is equal to 4 that 2 indicates the number of required selection lines to distribute your single input through your four outputs so s1 and s0 are your selection inputs two selection inputs which can distribute your the given input i or a through your multiple outputs if s1 and s0 are 0 0 your single input is transferred to the first output terminal if it is 0 1 it will transport to the second output terminal if it is 1 0 your output is your input is transferred to the third output terminal if it is 1 1 it will be transferred to the last output terminal which is y3 so this data you can represent with the letter of i or input or with the letter of a and this value of data d in with the, we can also represent this with a data input also so in this data input value might be a 0 or it might be a 1 so everything in your digital circuit are represented with 0 and 1 so specifically we have not mentioned that value of d in as 0 or 1 so simply generally we will represent it as a data input or i input with an alphabet letter i or with a a input terminal a so this value of a might be a 0 it might be a 1 it depends on your what the input is transferred to the output so the logical expression of your each output terminal resembles your a product term so hence we used number of here an array of and is each can give you one of the output terminal where here that a input or the input or data input is connected as the third input of your every and gate so out of this all four and gates so, so we have connected that a input to it is acting like one of the input and now based on your connected selection lines on your inputs so your data input is transferred to that particular output terminal so since that fourth gate will give you the output why not so hence we connected s0 bar and s1 bar 
as your inputs of your both AND gate and your data input is transferred to Y1 if it is 0 1. So hence we connected here. So S0 is equal to 1 and S1 is 0. So S1 bar. So S, S0 and S1 bar. Next the th uh, third AND gate will give you the output which is the data. So when S1 is 1 and S0 is 0. So hence we connected S0 bar as well as here along with S1. The last AND gate will give you the output uh, output or it, the input is transferred to the last output terminal based on your selection lines of S1 and S0. So hence uncomplemented inputs directly we connected S1 and S0 as the inputs to the first AND gate which can transfer your the A input if S1 and S0 are 1 1 then Y3 become A like this. So we are going to draw the logical diagram of your D multiplexer circuit using your Boolean expressions of your D max of your 1 by 4. Next 1 by 8 D multiplexer as it is having single data input and 8 outputs. So started with Y0 to Y7. So as we have to distribute through 8 output terminals. So 8 I can write with the 2 cube. So this power denotes the number of selection lines required to transfer that single output terminal, single input terminal through your multiple output terminals. So 3 number of selection inputs are required and those are designated as S2, S1, S0. So if S2, S1, S0 are 0, 0. So your data input is transferred to your first output terminal Y0 will become A. So next if it is 0, 0, 1. So Y1 become A and the rest remaining all will give you the output. So it also resembles the operation of your uh, decoder circuit. So this is the truth table of your 8, 1 by 8 D multiplexer and their output expressions Y0 is equal to S2 bar into S1 bar into S0 bar. So y2 is y1 is equal to y1 is equal to if s2 s1 are 0 0 1 and s0 is 1 so then it will transfer your data input y2 is if s2 s1 s0 are 1 0 so hence s2 s2 bar s1 into s0 bar into a y3 is equal to so S2 bar S1 S0 into A. So 0 1 1. So it will the single input terminal is transferred to the Y3. If it is 1 0 0, your input is transferred to Y4. If it is 1 0 1, so it is transferred to Y5. If it is 1 1 0, it is transferred to the Y6. So if it is 1 1, it is distributed to your last output terminal Y7. Hence, so here Y7 as equal to all ones are there on your selection input. So without complement, we have to represent that in the product term. So S2, S1, S0 into A. So like this, so we are going to design your 1 is 2 or 1 by 8 D multiplexers. And this belongs to the logical diagram of your, this shows your logical diagram of your 1 by 8 D, D multiplexer. 8 number of outputs. So each AND gate will give you one of the output so we started with i y naught to y7 now all uh, all fourth input is connected to the data input commonly that data input is connected to for all the it will act like one of the input of your all eight and gates and now so based on the selection inputs so it will have your output which is equal to the data input which is connected as a single input is transferred to the multiple output term so now first y0 is equal to a whenever s2 is 0, s1 is 0 and s0 is 0. So we connected s2 bar, s1 bar and s0 bar. So y1 equal to a whenever s2 is 0, 0, 1. So hence s0 is connected, s1 bar is connected, s2 bar is connected to the second AND gate. Next third AND gate will transfer your third output will have your input A whenever your 
applied inputs on S2, S1 are 0, 1, 0. So hence S2 bar, it is connected with S2 bar S1 into S0 bar. Next, fourth AND gate will transfer your input A whenever S2 is 0, S1 and S0 are 1, 1. Hence we connected. So here fourth AND gate is connected with S2, S1 and S0. So S2 bar into S1 into of S0. So fifth AND gate will generate the output 1, 0, 1 on your S2, S1, S0. Sixth AND gate as 1, 1, 0. So S2 is logic 1. So S1 is logic 1, S0 is S0 is S1 is 0, S0 is also 1. So next seventh gate will generate your output. So which is equal to the data input if it is 1, 1, 0 on your selection input. S2 is 1, S1 is 1, S0 is 0. Hence we connected S2, S1 and S0 bar. Last hand gate all the Selection inputs are logic one, hence we connect it directly S2, S1 and S0 are the three inputs of your last AND gate which can transfer your output if S2, S1, S0 are 1, 1. Next, let me design a higher order demultiplexer using low order. So to design a 1 by 8 demultiplexer, we require two 1 by 4 demultiplexer along with we require 1 by 2 demultiplex as we have here in a demultiplexer only one single output so hence we are going to use your 1 by 2 demultiplexer now so here this is your truth table of your demultiplexer circuit now let me analyze the circuit how to construct your 1 by 8 so now we use your 2 1 by 4 demultiplexer in the first stage we are going to use your 1 by 2 demultiplexer as only one single input so hence this demultiplexer the actual 8 1 by 8 demultiplexer input is transferred to the first stage which is on your 1 by 2 demultiplexer and your most significant selection input is connected on your s on your 1 by 2 demultiplexer the least significant selection lines are connected on your 1 by 4 demultiplexer as a common selection inputs here s1 and s0 if s2 is 0 then this data input is transferred to the transfer to the lower demultiplexer and if s2 is 1 so the data input i is transferred to the upper multiplexer now based on your s1 and s0 inputs so zero upon selecting your which demultiplexer have an i input so based on your selection inputs so you can transfer that single data input through this multiple four outputs. So for example, now uh, if I wanted to transfer the input I through your last output terminal I7, so then I need to apply your S2 is 1, S1 and S0 both are 1, 1. So this S2 can select or can transfer this single data input through your second in output terminal of your demultiplexer and that is connected to the second stage upper demultiplexer when it is transferred through your upper demultiplexer it is having an input so now s1 and s0 are 1 1 so if it is s1 and s0 are 1 1 so the last output terminal which is y7 we have your data input i so like this so you you can transfer your output so for example if i wanted to transfer through your y2 terminal then I need to apply on your selection inputs which are 0 selection input s2 is 0 s1 and s0 are equal to 1 0 so now if s2 is 0 the single data input is transferred through the first output terminal so this is the first output terminal and that first output terminal now it is having the input which is connected to the lower demultiplexer circuit and now the selection lines which are connected to this common connected demultiplexer 1 0 here so 1 0 is y2 is selected so hence the input is transferred to the output terminal y2 
as your data input term. So like this, so we are going to design your low order, sorry, higher order multi demultiplexers using your low order demultiplexer. Thank you. In the next session, we are going to discuss about how to implement your Boolean functions using decoder and your multiplexers.